Wow, it's hot here, but is that snow? Ash, it only falls like that for great fires. Well, this is supposed to be the greatest fire of all, isn't it? Muspelheim, the ancient realm of flame. Did your mother speak of it? Not a whole lot. I mean, there's not many stories that take place in fire, except among the fire giants, I guess. But I don't think they talk to others much, and no one's seen one in forever. I wonder what Suarter's gauntlet is. What? It's what those runes said we could find here. Hmm. We shall look. Another one here. This one's called Surtur. Must be a fire giant. Aye, the first and original. He makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin. But is that the past or the future? Hmm, that may be a matter of perspective. What's it gonna be this time?
Listen. I hear a voice. Another elf? I don't think so. It's coming from up there. The voice! It's just around this corner. Oh. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train? The gate's closed. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir. extra to deal with back here. Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Another gate opened up. Do they? 
Only a fire giant could be at home here, and according to prophecy, we won't see them again till Ragnarok. There's another sword. This must be the next challenge.
Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly.
There's the way through. breathing in ash. Imagine breathing it in from your throat stump. Uh, I really can't. Oh, wow. It's a lava waterfall. It's a lava fall. Yes, this isn't at all terrifying, is it? Another sword. I wonder how many of these there are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Ready? Ready. Be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly.
it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. My hands are so sweaty I can barely grip the ball. Well, my nose itches. Met the boy, of course. Brother! Roma!
be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly.
Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Did you ever hear of Suertur's gauntlet? Not as such, but it sounds like the Fire Giant's training ground, where he kept himself in fighting shape for Ragnarok. Let's do it. Where's I see you? Okay, my eyes are really stinging now. My throat burns. Well, it wouldn't be a challenge without a little challenge, would it? There's a sword! What's this? The fifth?
I was a little crazy. Woo! Right! Treasure time! Wouldn't it be nice to find some incense just once? The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Atreus, here. Be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Take this temperature and combine it with Helheim's, it'd probably be perfect. And if the old father had wings, he'd be a dragon. Huh? get nervous when we climb. But don't slip. I strongly concur. A Valkyrie! Careful, lads.
freedom. That's right, my lady. You are free. You have destroyed my physical form. I have nothing to give but my gratitude. I guess that's all we need. Gratitude does not pay for weapon upkeep, boy. Valhalla awaits. Farewell. Like this was our last one. Aye, lad. On to the rook stole our Valkyrs then. If you remember, it's next to the two oarsmen statues on the path we took to Thamur's chisel. This queen of yours. She is strong, yes? Stronger than these other Valkyries we have faced. That's putting it mildly, brother. Then we must prepare ourselves. Voice is impressed. He says for anyone that can beat a Valkyrie, he'll unlock a new level of challenge. I think all the swords just came back. Now he wants to know if we're ready for the ultimate challenge. It is not the time for this. Ah. Open. those. Now there's something else.
It'd be nice to find some incense just once. The smell of brimstone gets old quickly. Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. Well, what else were we talking about?
Ready? Ready. Left 
follow my lead. Say the word.
You met the boy, of course.
another gate opened up. Prepare yourself, boy. Yes, sir.
Let's get you squared away then. I ought to keep on the captain bits off you. I want to tell you. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, he can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Never spike to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads travelled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. Ugh! 
This is it, right? The Rockstool? Aye, lad. The Council of Valkyries. The Valkyries are of Valhalla, are they not? Glad to see you're paying attention, brother. You are correct. Valhalla, the Great Hall of the Ain Heriar, is their home within Asgard. But while there, they are subject to the scrutiny of the Allfather himself. And relations between the Valkyries and Odin were... tense during my tenure as his advisor. Wow. Well, that's an even longer story, lad. For now, why don't you walk around for some clues? <laughs> Try placing one of the Valkyrie helms on a throne. Mistress of war. After any conflict, big or small, she would be first on the scene, sussing out the worthy spirits for a free trip to Valhalla. A gruesome task, but she took great pride in it. Any conflict? Impossible. It's true. She had help from her sisters, of course, but Gunnar was always first to arrive. Her judgment of the fallen was unparalleled, and an invaluable resource to Odin. She was one of his favorites. Sorry, lad. The sight of Gondul always took my breath away. Gondul had a silver tongue, a sharp wit, and struck a figure so stunning it literally drove men insane. Odin forbid her from setting foot in Midgard after a time, as insanity is not a welcome trait in Valhalla. This is none other than Gerdrifo, the master of arms in Valhalla, responsible for arming and training Odin's Inheria. His what? His army, come Ragnarok. The entire reason Valhalla exists, you see. The Inheria wait in the Great Hall endlessly, feasting, drinking, and fa- Ah, uh, fornicating themselves silly. Once Ragnarok begins, Odin calls them into service to fight on his behalf. Gerdrifo had her hands full training that lot.
This, my friends, is Kara. Now, Valkyries are volatile by nature, but Kara, the lass is Wild Storm personified. A Wild Storm? Aye, calm and collected. Then the air would shift and the fury of her storm would unleash. It was beautiful in a way, assuming you could find proper shelter. Her tears would cleanse the blood soaked battlefields. This is Rota, a chooser of the slain. I thought all the Valkyrie did that. Not exactly, lad. Although that is what they're most famous for, and by far their greatest responsibility. You've seen what happens to the dead without the judgment of the Valkyries. Hellwalkers. That's right. Rota, Gunnar, Skuld. Without them to clean up the aftermath of battle, hell overflows with souls meant for Valhalla. A sorry state of affairs. Rota must be beside herself. Valkyrie healer? Strange. Air was strange, as a matter of fact. Very quiet. Very calm. Where her sisters were violent rapids, air was a gentle stream. She healed the wounds of both mortals and gods. And even a certain all-knowing sage who once drank too much and fell off a mountain. Ugh, not my proudest moment. Hildar, mistress of battle. She and Odin got on quite well, actually. Her and the other Valkyries, not so much. She would spend most of her time here in Midgard observing discord between the living and sewing some up herself from time to time. She lived for conflict. Some say she was conflict personified. I wonder what will become of her now that she's free. Once the daughter of a powerful chieftain, she fell defending him during a reaver attack. Orun was escorted to Valhalla, where she chose to devote her afterlife to the pursuit of knowledge above all else. Quite unusual behavior amongst the constant drinking and feasting of her fellow Valhallian denizens. How'd she end up a Valkyrie? Odin. He saw a kindred spirit in Orun's single-minded pursuit of knowledge. He appointed her as a Valkyrie's resident historian.
friends. You have saved the Valkyries. Sigrun, how did this happen? Mimir, is that you? You have been freed, but... Freedom comes at a price, milady. You speak truly. Countless winters we serve the Allfather. But only through his union to the Queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the Queen? There has only been one Queen of the Valkyries, the Goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Sigrun, I'm sorry for being so worthless. I could have done something, or tried at the very least. What will you do now? I must reunite with my sisters. Together we can restore balance to the realms. You have the eternal blessings of the Valkyries. did it, I suppose. You don't sound very happy about it. It's difficult to be happy about anything when you're a reanimated head. I'm grateful we were able to set the Valkyries free. But so much of this could have been avoided if only... You said it yourself, Ed. It does not matter anymore. The past is the past. Well, that's awfully cheerful coming from you. I am in a good mood. The dwarves will make use of this helm. Your dad's a wee bit single-minded, isn't he, lad? Definitely. Freya is the Valkyrie Queen? She never told us. You never told us. Explain yourself, Head. Or are you bewitched again? Not at all. Freya was Queen of the Valkyries at one point. Part of her marriage dowry included overseeing the Valkyries themselves. As a powerful Vanir goddess, they revered her. I never knew how much until now. <gasps> What will it be? Careful! You can cut yourself just looking at that thing. That shouldn't give you no trouble now. There's something else. 